We're in beautiful pit water and all around are jellyfish. Most of the ones here are called moon jellies. Um, there's two types here. When I say most, the, the ones right here are the moon jellies. Further out, you'll see the bigger, the really big ones with the multiple big fat tentacles. These are the bell shape with the very fine tentacles at the side. And what you notice when you look down upon them, looking at the top, there's four C shapes. They're the gonads, the reproductive organs. They usually come out a pinky color and when they're ripe, they're a yellow color. Inside those four C shapes underneath is the mouth and there's tentacles that hang down from each corner of the mouth and move food towards it. There's also tentacles on the outside of the bell and if you watch, they're really gentle. They're very fine tentacles. All the tentacles um, in those areas have what's called a nematocyst, which is a stinging cell. And the stinging cell works by having a coiled up piece with a barb at the end. And upon contact, that coil is then released. The barb goes into whatever the item is, like a fish, a little fish, and it has a neurotoxin. And so it's a protein that's on the end of that barb, which has the neurotoxic um, effect on the prey. And the way to alleviate that, if it happens to yourself, is you use hot water because hot water denatures the protein. And if the protein's denatured, it no longer stings. There are a couple of exceptions, so it's good to know your jellyfish that some up in Queensland, like the Irukandji, you use vinegar. But for most of them, hot water will denature the protein. But the sting is a very minor part from these wonderful moon jellies, so more it's a case of enjoying them, especially how peacefully they move. So if you get an opportunity to be on a boat or somewhere wonderful like this and check out those moon jellies, I highly advise it.